The serial send lets you trigger the transmission of one serial signal. The serial send uses the speed key send and can also be added to your program by expanding the serial folder under logic symbols and then clicking and dragging the serial send over to the detail view. So it's a pretty simple symbol. It transmits the string inside of the parameter on the rising edge of the digital signal on the trig input. Jamming serial signals in two series and, and later processors is kind of neat. Instead of strings competing for space along a jammed signal, strings that are triggered at the same time will actually be transmitted one after the other. This is a feature of all jammed serial signals, so it's not just limited to the serial send. Let's build an example program. I'm going to add a serial send, a serial I.O., one more serial send, an analog buffer, a serial gather, then one more analog buffer, and four ORs. The X panel is going to drive the input of the first serial send, its parameter will be serial send, and its output will go right back to the X panel. The first OR will be triggered when any of the individual serial symbols are selected, and its output will drive the enable line of the second analog buffer. The other three ORs will trigger the two serial sends and the serial I.O., and the ORs will be driven by the X panel. The second serial send will have the string parameter over, and its output will go to the analog buffers. The SIO will have the string parameter worked, and its output will also go to the analog buffers. Then the third serial send will have the parameter logic with a return character, and its output will also go to the analog buffers. The first buffer's outputs will be jammed together, and that signal will feed into the serial gather. We'll set the delimiter of the gather to the new line character, and the length to 30. Then the gather's output will be fed back to the X panel. And finally, the last analog buffer's outputs will be given the same name as the output of the serial gather. So it's a little weird, but let's compile and upload. Triggering the input of the first serial send makes the string visible on the panel, which is expected. Triggering any of the individual serial symbols sends an individual string to the panel. But the 1 plus 2 plus 3 button groups all of the strings together. So what's happening here is the signals are being sent in the order over worked logic. If the gather hadn't been added to the program, the first two strings wouldn't have been on the screen long enough for you to see them. They're still transmitted, but they'd just technically not be added together. Adding the serial gather and the new line character at the end of logic lets the program catch each individual string and then put them all together. It's important to note that the serial behavior isn't limited to the serial send. It happens for all serial signals. So with that in mind, why would you ever use a serial send when an SIO can do so much more? Well, there's actually a really good reason. What if we had used the SIO to display the worked and logic strings? Sending the strings individually would work fine, but sending all of the string together would have given us over logic instead of overworked logic. This means that the serial send is great to use if you need to simultaneously transmit different strings along the same jammed signal. You should also check out the multiple serial send. It's just like the regular serial send, but it has expandable outputs. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have time for today. If you really liked what you saw, give us a like down below, and if you really loved it, be sure to subscribe. But until next time, this has been Jonathan, and I'm out. I'll see you later.